welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna be making a spicy chicken wrap and I'm also gonna be making a chicken bacon ranch wrap I'm gonna be using regular tortillas and I also am gonna be using a sun-dried tomato tortilla so this recipe is quick easy and absolutely delicious so let's go ahead and get started you guys I've got some hot sauce turkey bacon Hidden Valley Ranch, butter, tomatoes, shredded lettuce. I'm gonna be using boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and I'm gonna be using four pounds. I would recommend you guys use one to two pounds, and I'm gonna be using um, the sun-dried tomato uh, wrap from Mission, and I'm gonna be using the regular wrap from Mission. So let's go ahead and get started, you guys. What I love so much about this recipe is although it's very quick and easy, it is also very filling. So let's go ahead and get our boneless, skinless chicken thighs cubed up into little chunks like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and put down a little canola oil. And I have my heat on about medium high heat, and like I said, guys, I'm using four pounds. I have a huge family and we are always eating and I'm always cooking. So I have to use a little bit extra. If you guys are just making this for yourself, I would use about one to two pounds of chicken thighs. Okay, guys, we're gonna go in here with a little bit of regular salt. Gonna also go in here with some Kingsford all-purpose seasoning. We, of course, have to have some black pepper. And we are gonna give this a nice stir. I'm gonna be stirring this um, with my little wooden uh, spatula utensil thing, y'all. <laughs> so we wanna let our chicken cook, but we also wanna make sure that our chicken does not dry out. So that's why it's very important to keep it covered. And after about 15 minutes, this is how our chicken looks. As you can see, the oil is a little bit light because I'm using canola oil. But look at those pieces of chicken. They are nice and evenly cooked. I actually let this cook for about 15 minutes, you guys. So that is why it looks so wonderful. So this is probably a great, you know, snack if you guys are having family and friends over and you just want to make something quick. We're going to go in here with a little bit of the Badia Complete Seasoning. A little bit of the Grill Mates Montreal Seasoning. Montreal Chicken Seasoning. <laughs> And I'm just probably doing about um, a half a tablespoon, you guys. Now I am gonna go ahead and finish stirring. We don't need a lot of seasoning salt. We don't need anything to make this spicy. We are gonna get all of our spice from our delicious buffalo sauce. If you guys do not wanna make homemade buffalo sauce, you can definitely buy store-bought. You can definitely buy store-bought, but I'm making mine's homemade. I had two tablespoons of unsalted butter and I took a half a cup of Frank's Red Hot Hot Sauce and a couple drops of Louisiana Hot Sauce. Now we are gonna stir everything up completely. So the butter kinda helps take out some of that spice that we get from hot sauce. If you guys know, hot sauce is really, really good, but it's really spicy. So sometimes um, if you guys want to make something that's spicy but not too spicy, just put a little butter in it. That is gonna take all of that heat out. And I'm gonna let this cook for about five minutes, you guys. You do not have to overcook this at all. Now I went ahead and added in our chicken back. And I actually used all four pounds of chicken for the sauce and it worked out perfect. If you guys wanted to use um, a little less Frank's um, hot sauce, you definitely could, but if you wanna have the full Chef Rambo effect, go ahead and use the half cup. Hey, if you wanna use a whole cup, go ahead. It ain't gonna hurt, it's just gonna give it a little spicy kick. So I'm just making sure all of those chicken pieces are coated in our buffalo sauce, so that way each wrap has so much flavor. Okay guys, it has been another five minutes, so I think we're ready to add our secret ingredient. We're gonna be adding a little bit of sriracha sauce. I love sriracha sauce because it's spicy and it's also sweet. So it's gonna help balance out the buffalo wrap and just give it a little bit more flavor, you guys. Ooh, 
wee look at that chicken. So this is how you want your chicken to look, you guys. If you guys can notice, the chicken is not really, really, really red because I didn't want to overdo it with the buffalo sauce. So um, don't freak out if you're looking at your chicken and it ain't real red. I promise you that heat is there. So I took one of the sun-dried tomato wraps and I'm gonna start working on the buffalo chicken wrap. I went ahead and put down a little chicken. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of that delicious shredded lettuce and we're gonna go in here now with a little bit of shredded cheese. Now it's time for the tomatoes. If you guys do not wanna use tomatoes, if you don't like them, you could use onions, green onions. If you wanted to use some roasted tomatoes, you guys can use what you want, okay? And we're gonna top it off with a little bit of ranch. And if you guys do not like ranch dressing, you can definitely use French or you could also use Caesar. So boom, that is how we roll up our spicy buffalo chicken wrap. And let's start working on our chicken bacon ranch wrap. So some, actually I lied you guys, so I did not use all four pounds of that chicken for the buffalo. I took half for the buffalo and I left half plain because I was gonna be doing the chicken bacon ranch. So now we're gonna add a little bit of that turkey bacon because turkey bacon is good. Now it's time to add the shredded lettuce and a little bit of tomato, tomato, a little bit of cheddar cheese and to top that bad boy off we're gonna go in here with a little bit of ranch and now it's time to roll this pup up and you guys that is a quick delicious lunch dinner it was fast y'all better make this y'all better make this okay boom we are done those wraps look fantastic now let's go ahead and cut into these things and get these things plated up. Oh, wait, that look good, child. Boom. Now let's cut into the chicken bacon ranch. I know I should have wiped my, my freaking knife off, but I didn't, you guys. Look how delicious those wraps look. And what I really love about wraps is that they're kind of healthy. If you eat them, you know, and you don't indulge too much and have maybe like five or six wraps, they're actually really healthy. So I wanted to make something different, you guys, and get in touch with a little bit of healthier foods. So that's why I decided to make some delicious wraps. And oh my gosh, you guys, look at those wraps. So much flavor. OMG, you guys. This is my first time making spicy chicken wraps and chicken bacon ranch wraps. If you guys like this video, make sure you leave me a like, you leave me a comment, you share this video, you repost, honey. I love me some wraps. And why in the heck would I go to a restaurant and get them when I can get them at home? Oh yeah, my twins love them too. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next video. Bye-bye.